What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Thanksgiving today. Uh, I was watching Nate ride his bike earlier, and uh, it started bogging down and started smelling like gas. Every time, I mean, he'd get it going and then just bog, bog, bog down, and then start smelling like gas. And uh, so I'm, I'm really not for sure what's going on with it. We're gonna pull it apart and see if we can figure out what's going on with the little thing. I guess clean the air filter, check the carb on it. Might have to adjust the carburetor on it. And uh, I'm not for sure if they got a fuel filter on these things, but uh, if, if they do, we're going, we're going to figure that out and uh, maybe put a new spark plug in it. It shouldn't be too complicated. I mean, it's just, there's not much to these bikes. So let's jump into it and see what we can figure out. All right, let's get in here and pull this air filter off. This thing is so hard to get these screws out. You got to get a long screwdriver just to get in there to this little bolt. It's right, right there. I have to pull this, pull this off to get the air filter out. There we go. Now we can get in there to it. Now let's, let's see. Let's pull the back off of there. Let's see. Oh, it twists us off. I remember now. You got to just about... Well, I think you do. You gotta take it completely off of the carburetor to get this thing clean or to clean the air filter on it. There we go. Yeah, it's gunked up a little bit i don't think that could cause a lot of a uh, rich condition i mean that, that might be some of the problem that's from going through the leaf piles the other day got leaves stuck all in it all right let's get this thing cleaned up Got leaves all in there. Yeah, we're gonna have to spray it all out. All right, got a little brake parts cleaner to clean out this air box. We got the no tool cleaner to clean the air filter. We got the no no toil uh, filter oil and the no tool rim grease. You might think that's a little excessive for a little CR at 50, but. I used to race motocross, so I still got a bunch of stuff. And plus, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get me another bike too. So. See this no tool filter cleaner? You can use it in the house. It don't stink everything up. It's nice. And it's I think it's biodegradable. Yeah, it's biodegradable and everything. Yeah, you want to tell everybody hi? Hi guys, what's up? Clean the air filter on your dirt bike. Will you just sprinkle some of this in there? I'll put that in. All right, you, you want to throw a little bit in there? All right, that's enough. That's way more, that's more, uh, that's more than enough. We don't need that much. <laughs> it's super concentrated now. It's going to make it really clean. Yeah, buddy, it's going to be really clean. We got way more than we need. Yeah. Throw a little bit more water. Throw some more water in there. <laughs> right, no, 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 we don't need no more. I pinched the man because you turned the water on. Yeah, I turned the water on because we had too much. Oh. There we go. Let me see the. And this stuff don't stink up the house, guys. Look how clean this filter is. I don't see. Up there. 
I can touch it. Yeah, you can touch it. This is not like your normal air filter cleaner. This stuff right here, I mean, you could wash your clothes in that and this. Look how it beads the uh, the oil up. So it just pulls it all out. You don't have you don't stink up the house for two or three days. Trust me, I have did that before with the other air filter oils. Or other air I've did that before with the other air filter cleaners. I have uh, got that stuff all the smell just gets everywhere in the house and you can't get it out. You cannot get the smell out. But with no no tool, no toil, that doesn't happen. Now we're gonna clean this uh I don't know, it's like a little bracket or brace or something in there for the air filter. I'm gonna spray that down with brake cleaner. It's got some gunk on there. It's like a buildup of air filter oil, I think. You take this filter oil and just pour some on there and then just you just massage it in just work it in there don't take a whole bunch this stuff looks like honey looks like you just want to eat it by the spoonful put a little dab on there little dab on that side put some right there that's about all we need just take and smear this around Take and smear it around on this. Normally do a lot better job than this, but I, I'm normally not filming at the same time, so cut me a little slack in the comments if you're thinking about roasting me. Oh, there we go. Now. Let's get that put back in there. Just like that. Hit the thumbs up if you think I need a cameraman. <laughs> Cause I really think I need a cameraman. It would make all this a lot easier. We we might we might have one one day. You never know. I like I like filming myself anyways. So it it doesn't matter to me either way. Alright, get this pushed back in there. I'm telling you, I think that is a lot easier just pulling it off of the carburetor than trying to uh just pull the back of the boot off. All right. I had the screws. I put the screws in coming from the back side going this way. And the screws go from the front side to the back. I don't know why I didn't catch that. I was about to put it in and the, uh, and the back popped off of the air boot. I was like, what in the world just happened? How did... Did it just break the screws out? I didn't know what happened. And I literally just put them in the wrong way. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I've did this, I don't know, three or four times since I've, uh, since I've bought him this bike. And I've never put the screws in going the opposite way. You'd think that wouldn't even be possible, but it was. I thought I ripped the whole back of the air boot off. I was like, what did I just do? I'm going to have to buy a whole nother air boot for this thing. I need to get one of those uni air filters or something for it. 
because this right here is honestly a pain in the butt every time you need to clean the air air box see on this thing you can get those uni air filters and they just i think they just bolt onto the back of the carburetor I, th I think if any of you guys has ever messed with the crf 50 and know of a good air filter that uh you don't have to go through all of this crap to uh to clean it let me know i am all ears because this is borderline ridiculous but you still got to do it let's see I'm trying to work it back on the carburetor right here. There we go. It's back on the carburetor. And you got this little, this little, uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, this little electrical connector it has to go on here whenever you bolt this back up. Nothing about this is hard. It's just crazy because you you can clean the air filter on a brand new CRF 450R, or at least a 2018. That was the one I had. A 2018 CRF 450R, 10 times quicker than you can clean the air filter on a CRF 50. It's insane. All right, now let's hook our hose back up down here. goes right there let's see what else did we take off I got the cool tighten back up all right air filters clean cools tighten back up let's see yeah everything oh I gotta tighten I gotta tighten the clamp back up on the carburetor there we go I don't have a new spark plug for this but I'm going to check the spark plug and see see how it's see how it looks man that is hot redneck breaker bar that seemed a little tight i don't know i've never had the spark plug out on this thing but the normal rule of thumb for a spark plug you go hand tight and then a quarter to a half turn all right. That honestly don't look too bad. Don't smell like gas. I'm going to clean it up with the wire brush and put it back in there. All right. We got that thing hit with the wire brush. Now let's stick it back in here. And we're going to see how this thing runs now with the clean air filter and clean the spark plug off. Now I can't remember if you're supposed to go a quarter turn or a half turn after you put the spark plug in all the way. I'm about to find out. I'll be able to tell by feel. All right, let's go straight down. All right, let's go straight down and see if I can remember whether it's quarter or a half. Yeah, it's definitely a quarter. So there's like an eighth. Let's do one more eighth. 
yeah that's what it is it's a quarter turn so you go all the way hand tight and then a quarter turn if you can't get, do a, qu a full quarter turn you can do like i just did you know an eighth then go back and another eighth that's the same as a quarter turn all right now let's crank this thing up and see how it runs now got the gas on keys on Put it neutral. Look at that. First kick. Man, this thing is idling smooth. No choke, no nothing. That's what it needed. Or that's what it needed was the uh, air filter cleaned and the spark plug cleaned up a little bit next time i go to the store i'm going to go ahead and get a new spark plug for it anyways uh and put that in there but um just cleaning it up and, and cleaning the air filter i think whenever we went through the leaf pile the other day uh if you haven't watched that video go and watch it man we or nate took through those leaves <laughs> it's insane y'all just have to go watch the video uh with the leaf pile but I think those leaves was really clogging that air filter up. I'm going to take this down here and see how it rides real quick. Just go for a quick spin on it. It's dark. Oh yeah, this thing is running a lot better. It was bogging down like crazy. Like it hit go wide open and just bogged down. Let's see if it still bogs down. And it stuttered a little bit. That's good on that one. It was falling completely on its face whenever he would go wide open. I think whenever we go and get the new spark plug, it should be good then. Cause I mean, it's still a used spark plug. I just cleaned it up. So uh, next time we go to the store, I'll throw a new plug in there and that thing should be good to go. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you haven't hit the subscribe button and uh, turn the notifications on, this, is, this video is gonna be a little bit different from what we're normally gonna be uploading. But every now and then we might have a video of you know working on something working on the, the his little bike working on the side by side working on something you know that way we always got content coming out because uh sometimes you know like today it started raining outside right whenever we went outside to film so uh i needed to do this anyways through a video together you know fixing the bike so uh drop a comment down there if you don't like this content let us know i won't do it no more but i think uh every now and then a little bike work footage or you know something working on something because you know with this sport with this hobby that we all do you have to work on stuff because if you don't you're not going to be playing for long all right and uh subscribe guys hit that subscribe button and smash the bell button <laughs> we'll see you on the next one guys peace